and good day. Today we're having a real good look, well a quick look anyway, at 3D fillies. It's a new PLA plus uh, filament that's come out in Australia. It's a pretty impressive filament. It's just the packaging that they've got uh, is not so crash hot and I'll show you that in a minute. And there we are. 3D fillies. That's the new um, PLA plus. They come in a nice resealable bag. And you're probably noticing that I've got a couple of bags of 3D Philly PLA Plus and it's not in bags. Well, there is a reason for that. Um, this is the bag. As you can see, I've cut it where it's meant to be cut. I'll turn it over. You can see the little, little clipper mark there where you're supposed to put your scissors. And I've definitely done the right thing on, on the bags, which the zipper works. That little ziplock works very, very nice. Nothing wrong with that. Um, works perfect except when you come to the other end of the bag it doesn't seal there's nothing at the other end it looks like the heat seal or glue or whatever it was that they used on the bag um, basically is non-existent so hmm that could be a bit of a problem for long-term storage so if you got some of the 3d fillies um, the new PLA plus series just be very wary of the bags uh, do what I've done, get rid of the bag, pop them into some of the um, normal resealable ones that you can get from the supermarket. And here's the uh, 3D Phillies PLA Plus Transparent Blue. It's printing a vase at the moment, so on a little CR-10 Mini. The spool is sitting over there, as you can see. And there it is, there's the finished base.